play, hung out with the fam, like brought my music, picked, they were like, okay, we love you, we love it, we're going to do this. Um, but moving forward, how are we going to package you? Mm. And it was a label, and things have changed. This was like over 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, but at this time, well, things haven't changed that much, but, but there's right now more independent artists. But at the time with this label, they were like, they were going, I'm going to have to be straight. Mm. You know, a girlfriend of public, the same thing they did to Luther. I said, no, I'm not living like that. Yeah. So no to that contract. And that kind of dissuaded me from music. I was like, I guess I'll sing at the house to myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I thought, because Shaka Khan said to any musician, what she advised is, is you know the law. So I thought with law school also, it's like not only advocacy, maybe entertainment law. But then after law school, I realized that institution also is also made up. Um, and I choose, I chose to not get my license because mm -hmm. I, I had the opportunity as mm -hmm. long as I take that fee, um, but I chose not to and decided, well, I would just use that education and I, I like folks, you know, give family folks and friends and stuff, you know, legal advice when needed because I can yeah. do that as a licensed yeah. attorney. Justine, let me just tell you real quick, life be licensed, you know? I really am a true believer of uh, therapy. Mm -hmm. um, it has changed my life, our life, our relationship, EMDMR. Mm -hmm. um, oh, trauma. Uh, on the, the effect on the brain. So it like it rewires ourselves. There's a lot of work and prep that go, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. And I, then the I hecklers, I guess. Would you call them hecklers in the strip club or would you just call them something else? You know what's funny was, the, oh, there would be folks, of course, we don't know about that. What was funny to me was, um, Folks would come in there and then try to like, uh, I don't know, like, let me get you out of here. I was like, like, rescue, let me change your life. I'm like, bitch, I'm saving up for law school. I'm like, I'm good. I'm right. Like, it's that once again that stigma, like, like it's not a, this is like it's a cho it's a choice. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, I don't I don't judge. Get those coins, like in you know, because you're serving a purpose. You, you're making your dreams come true. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And you did it. You passed the bar. Right? Yes. Say what? You passed the bar. Yes. 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 I thought you were talking about the stripper bar. I was like, the bar. I'm like, I thought you were talking about stripper <laughs> You know, Nora has a pole in her house, right? Yeah, Have I, you seen the pole? I totally believe it, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. She, she needs to get it. Um, Is she on? Tightened up. No. No, oh, what she's doing. I'll text her. I'm gonna let her know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just come over and show her some things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I love it. She probably somewhere cutting up. I don't know. Oh no, I know she's she's um. Yeah, I'm telling her love. The Augusta Symphony had a concert tonight, so she's she's at a. Oh, love it. Love the little mm -hmm. symphony concert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's she's doing her thing. Mhm. Mm love it. Love her. <sighs> yes. A moment of silence. You know, I don't silence would bother me. I'm awkward anyway, so you know, awkward silence. But who, you know, who it's says not. silence is awkward? But. I love my therapist. Like we can just actually look at each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, silence promotes uh, reflection. <laughs> Boldly. Yeah. Boldly. And having our feet in both worlds, living both realities. Where, I, like I told you, in our house. Race was a construct, social construct, to justify slavery. Mm -hmm. Gender was a social construct. Is there's no such thing like when we start off as tribal folks, our flesh was not gender. You know what I'm saying? Some folks mm -hmm. had any alley belly buttons. The giant beans are the same damn thing. One, any one's alley. The only difference is some humans have ovaries, some don't. Men have ovaries. There's men who have babies now. Like it's like that's that's who we were. We're not new. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like, explain to me this new trend on by no, we've been here. Yeah. Yeah. And then they so, people, like, so I'm not well versed in that history, but I think people who make comments about oh this and that shouldn't say anything until they've done their research and, and read. Yeah. So I'm But most of us kind of been taught. And yeah. like and that's and that that was intentional. Uh -huh. To not know our history and know our power, like and to make it believe that we are no. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh my god! Once we realize that, how many, theory. You can be, don't get me started on oh. that with that whole thing. Yeah, they don't. They don't want us to know the truth. 
Exactly. Yeah. And so and that's no why power. that's why you're needed. That's why I'm needed, and all these other people who are exactly. helping um, inspire people to live authentically and not be yeah. bound by these society standards. Like, who yeah. created these standards? Yeah. You know, because we're all individuals. Yeah. And leave it back to social contracts, even sexuality. Mm-hmm. That's completely made up. Like, <laughs> that's a whole spe- – like, like, you know, that's one of my favorite talks. So, you know, I'm the dean of goddess of love, sexuality. I love passion and music. I love folks from, to – I love love. I love love. And I love folks to, to – and I want everyone to, like, just have love. Mm-hmm. Um, Spread love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so those are all made up, but also that was, they having our feet in both worlds where those are all social constructs and made up. But I have my feet in the other world in this reality where I know when I step outside the door, especially in North Carolina, and a cop looks at me with a gun, mm-hmm. I'm black and trans. So that's when that's feet in both worlds. That's why I say labels. They, and I understand a lot of people like, why labels and categories? And, like, I get that, but I also get that creates community. Also, that's how we find each other. Mm-hmm. And realize our number and our strength, and like, oh no, this is not the lie is not real. Like we are not the minority. We are. We are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd love for us, for humans, to get to the point where we don't have to have labels. We could just be human beings and be ourselves. But like you said, it's necessary right now because of the way the world is. It, right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Because love is love. We are who we are. Yeah. You know, so we are all created in God's image. If we're created in God's image, we can create. <laughs> we can we can decide. You know, we have autonomy, authority. I I more believe like uh, in energy and spirit, and also like um, I guess like matter and compounds. Like we're the same material stars. Yes. You know, like we switch skin every seven years. We're cells. Like we are all the earth. We are. We come mm-hmm. from it. Like we are all of the land, like of the universe. Yes. That's good. And that's actually my meditation too. I really like. <laughs> I do feel like like spirit. Like one day we'll leave this form, this human form, on this planet Earth at this mm-hmm. time, and release back to the universe. Yeah. And in mm-hmm. this huge like. Unbridled, just 